Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends. And uh, today we have a few topics to talk. It's about news and politics. And if you are not interested, maybe this is not a topic for you. Uh, we just get the news from uh, Turkey that the Islamists in Turkey, they lost the election. And uh, that mean actually a big defeat for the Islamists and for Erdogan uh, because if this is if if today the election happened in Turkey Erdogan will lose and this is, will have a huge impact in the future election for Erdogan this is why Erdogan he was working hard trying to change the result of this election because this is a big big problem for him and for the Islamist uh, propaganda in Turkey uh, a few months ago when uh, the supporters of the new mayor of uh, Istanbul they were uh, protesting in the street in the women day if you remember when the Quran start recited uh, in the in the mosque they have it in the speakers as usual the Adhan Allahu Akbar all millions of people in the street they start uh, like uh, making noise as like you know when you go in the football and you say Ooh, like you know you don't like it so Erdogan, he was so upset, and the Islamists were so upset that in Turkey, there's a lot of Turkish, they literally, they get disgusted when they hear the Adhan. So he could not take it, and the Islamists could not take it, and then the, the, the disaster hit, and the man who is the enemy of uh, the Islamists in, uh, in Istanbul, he won the election. So Erdogan, he did not accept the result, and he decided to fight, and he accused corruption, blah, 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 to make any excuse so he can redo the election. And the plan is very simple. We will do the re-election in, uh, in a month where people are going on vacation, all the students. So Istanbul have a huge population of students. So it's a, it's a vacation time for school. Students, they will be away from their houses, and family, they will go away. So now, and those families, most of them, they are, you know, from the, we can call them uh, the liberals of Turkey. Uh, and uh, that will give a chance for an opportunity for the followers of Is the Islamist parties uh, to win the election. But even though after all of this, still he was defeated. And as you see in the news, it says that, uh, uh, you know, the winner is uh, the other side of, Turkey the other side which is not the one who don't favor Islam and the one who do believe Islam is from the cave time should not even be exist in the table uh, so this is the first news which is a very good news actually but for me actually I would like to see Erdogan winning for the coming election you see it's better to have an idiot running a nation which can be very dangerous from somebody is a smart so idiot is the best and i say the best thing happened to europe it was erdogan because if it's not erdogan maybe turkey by now by many idiots in the european union is going to be inside european union so by having erdogan turkey did not enter european union so thank you erdogan now we go to the other thing uh, we know that Iranian, and I'm talking about Iranian, we're talking about the Islamist regime. As you see, this is the president. The president himself is a sheikh, is a mullah, you know. Uh, last uh, meeting for the lawmakers, if we can say there is a lawmaker in Iran, which is funny, what lawmaker? <laughs> How you can make a law in Iran? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I thought you have the law of Allah. Why you want to make lawmaker? I mean, isn't it funny? They have the law of Allah, and yet they want a lawmaker. Why you need to make a law if you have a law? Like, hello? But anyway, let it go. It's just like to show that we are democratic, and blah, 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 you know, like in the garbage. But who dare to say no? I mean, everybody say yes. And look, all of them, they shan death to America. And here you, t you can tell how the, the cult of Islam br bring savagery into a nation. Imagine, imagine if we shout death to Iran. 
in America. I mean, how disgusting that is. Even if we go in war with them, we would not say that. So this is how savage this cult is. You shout death to a nation and nobody complain. Yeah, this is Islam, my friend. This is Islam. Death to the kuffar, death to the Jews, death to the atheist, death to the gays, death to the lesbian, death to anyone that agree with us. That is Islam. So you will notice here they don't have a shame to say and to do such an act. If Trump, he says, death to Iran, you will see how many, in American, they would eat him alive. You know? So here, yesterday, we were talking about savagery. You remember? We talk about the savage and the one who not savage. When you are a savage, you win a war. In the in the time of war, savage always win. L let me explain to you. You as a Christian, you don't believe in violence. And then there is an army coming to fight you. And your priest says to you that Jesus says, turn the other cheek. Hmm? Which, are, by the way, this is the wrong verse to use for such a, a case. But this is what they do. All the churches, they say to you, Jesus says, turn your cheek. But turn your cheek is not the case in the war, you idiot. What turn your cheek? No, Jesus says, let the, the enemy rape your wife. Take your children into slavery. He did not say that. This is about, you know, in, in the time of Jesus, there was a law. If you hit somebody in a certain cheek, he go to jail. It might be funny, but this is the law. So what Jesus is saying to the, you live in a society, you live in a civil society, turn your cheek and let the police take care. Because now if he hit you, he go to jail. You live in a country, have an order. But this is not about war. It's about turning a cheek, not to give your neck to the somebody to kill you. And don't fight evil by evil. What does that mean? You know, you see some Christian uh, uh, teachers, they always try to make, uh, you know, like Jesus, he just says, let everybody kill you. Who, whoever want to kill you, kill you. This is absolutely false. This is a big fat lie. The Old Testament is part of the, it's, it's the same as, it's a continues with the, with the New Testament. So if you don't believe who is the God of the Christians, then go and read the Old Testament. And Jesus, he says, I came to fulfill, not to destroy. So Jesus nowhere says, let them rape your wives and etc. Just to stay watching. Actually, if you do that, you are no Christian. A Christian who don't defend his country is no Christian. A Christian who don't defend his family is no Christian. A Christian who don't stand against evil, he is no Christian. Let us say you are walking in the street and you see somebody raping a woman, even if she's a Muslim. If you watch and you don't do something to stop the rapist, you are no Christian. Even if she is from Iran and she is a Muslim. And we have war with them still you have to defend that woman because this is what christians do uh, uh folks 400 behave otherwise i will ban you uh so here you see the iranian uh, parliament which is nothing but a bunch of mullahs chanting death to america and usually death to america and death to israel but this is nothing new for savagery religion who teach such a hate and violent nothing new muhammad he said that before them now the the one who ran the country is not those not the president the president is just a chosen by the big mullah the big mullah himself is the one who chose who is going to be the president you see in iran they say to you we have election but in fact they don't have election the big mullah Ayatollah Al Khomeini and who, uh, whoever came after him, uh, uh, Khomeini is dead right now. So the inheritance of him, who take his chair, he choose a bunch of guys and he say, okay, choose one of them, which means uh, whatever he chose, this is his choice at the end. All right. So uh, there is no election. This is a country run by the sword, run by Islamist. Uh, 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 terrorist who kill anyone who oppose them and then the American they are trying to deal with this religious regime but you see the American they have a problem American are not educated about the cult of Islam very much they think fighting uh, uh, Islamist is the same as just fighting terrorists just shoot a terrorist but this is not how you fight a terrorist war with the terrorism 
start with the idea before the gun and those who run the country of Iran they have a terrorist mentality not a government mentality so what what the American they do uh, what what uh, uh, what the American they do they think they are fighting a government or they are dealing with the government Guys, don't change my topic. I'm talking about something. Somebody will talk about my book. The other one talk about. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with people. We please let us be. Let us be mature. When we have a topic, uh, focus with a topic. If you want to rest, leave. So, uh, uh, American and all Western, they always see things as hamburger. You know, hamburger like America. Everybody, uh, American, they eat McDonald. So they think everybody eat McDonald. American, they have, uh, 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 you know, everybody have uh, two or three cars in his house. You know, people live in a, in a most likely, like in most places, uh, a comfortable life. Everything is cheap. So they think, every, you know, the same, everybody live the same, everybody eat the same, everybody feel the same, everybody believe in the same. And this is how the ignorance of the American impact in anything happening in, the, in, 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 in Iran. So they went to Afghanistan. They think if they build a school in Afghanistan, they can change Afghanistan. That's this is how stupid they are. They think if they give a donation and they build roads and airport, Afghanistan will become Germany. This is how stupid they are. The same, they went to Iraq and they spent billions of dollars building, not destroying, but nobody will remember what the American did in Iraq. You see, they remember that America came and make a war, but the fact America spent trillions of dollars in Iraq trying to change the country. They thought this is Germany, but those idiots do not know that as long as Islam is there, Germany will never happen again. Germany, when it came out of the war, America rebuilt Germany and they invested heavily and they helped the German to build their country. So we have Germany today. Those are not Germany and they will never be. So the stupidity of the American is beyond imagination. And always they think they can change a country in like a switch like you know people there they don't want this and etc and we can go there and we take the regime and that's it they don't know that all of Afghanistan is either Taliban Shia or Taliban Sunni which mean all of them they are radical and all of them they are Islamist and all of them they are drug dealers and now in Iran I have to say that Iran is not the same situation as Afghanistan or even Iraq. In Iran, there is a huge population who is anti-Islam, which is good. But still, when you go against a, a, such a country run by mullahs, you have to think by the way they think. You know, uh, if we go to the Muslim Brotherhood website, and I'm, I'm talking about the Muslim Brotherhood website because Muslim Brotherhood, they are the babies of the Iranian mullahs. Uh, I want to show you the logo. All right. This is here. Let us put it in the screen. All right. This is the logo of the Muslims Brotherhood. What do you see in the screen? You see Quran, two swords, and then down there is a word in Arabic. Those who speak Arabic, they knew how to read. It says wa do. Just one word. Why I do? This is the constitution of Muslims and Islam. I'm saying when I say Muslims, I'm, I'm saying those who believe in Islam. Otherwise, why you call somebody a Muslim if you don't believe in Islam, right? Same as why you call somebody Christian if he is not a Christian. Why I do? What does that mean? That can be found in the Quran, in chapter eight, verse number sixteen. Let us find it. 
All right. Chapter 8, verse number 60. What the verse saying? Do you see what the verse is? So, when Islamist countries speak about war or speak about peace, all their agenda is make ready for them whatever force and string of horses you can. So you can install terror in the heart of the enemy of Allah, not God. The word God does not exist here, it's Allah. So this is the this is the the, the, the logo what I do. But many uh, European countries until now they don't consider actually not even one of them consider Muslim Brotherhood as a terrorist organization. Why? Because Europeans are stupid, silly, and they have the mentality of Europe. You see, there is somebody he lived inside a box, and he cannot get out of the, of the box. And the box is the box of Europe, where oh, everybody believes in a human right, and everybody is equal, and everybody is okay. But they will not, and they cannot accept that there is somebody believe in such a way in the 2019. But this is the truth. You know what I mean? The logo of the Muslim Brotherhood is the logo of 2019. It was the same as it was to 1960 or 65 or, or, or in the 50. This is their logo, and this is the logo of Muhammad. Make ready what I do. So all their target is prepare to fight the infidels. We go back to Iran. Iranian, they are no different. This is why Iranian, they are the one number one sponsor for Hamas. Hamas is a Muslim Brotherhood, and they are Sunni. How does Shia support the Sunni? It doesn't matter. Here, you see, uh, uh, those Sunni organization, they are not really Sunni. They are Sunni in the flag, but they are Shia in the finance. And that telling you who is in charge. When the Muslim Brotherhood, they won the election in Egypt, the first country, Morsi, the one who died just two days ago in jail, the first country he went to, it was Iran. Why? Because this is where the boss live. So he is a president of Egypt, yet the first trip is to Iran here. Because Muslim Brotherhood, they are just another branch of Hezbollah, but it is a Sunni branch. So the Shia here, you see the Shia Muslim, they are very smart. They even were able to make Sunni work for their agenda. Sunni, you see how smart they are? They are really smart, and they practice taqiyya very well. So the Iranian, they practice taqiyya, they say, we don't want to have a nuclear weapon. It's against Islam to have a nuclear weapon. You are right. It's against Islam. Why? Isn't it your prophet says kill all the infidels? Hmm? And now the American, they are trying to deal with this regime. And after many years, the regime is taking over Iran. I think more than 40 years now. The American, they are talking about Iran as if it is a second to just exist yesterday. And the regime is taking over just the last year. Here you see the lack of uh, intelligence, and I'm talking about intelligence as a CIA and etc. And the lack of intelligence of the leaders. So look what they did. Trump he put sanctions in Iran. Okay, so now we surrounded Iran by sanctions. Iran cannot buy. Iran cannot sell. Iran, 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 and then we send little tiny airplane in the top of uh, uh, the shore close to Iran, and then. The Iranian they shot this airplane who is flying here. Have you ever heard of a stupid country send his airplane without protection? Welcome to America. Because they are so proud of how strong they are, they said to themselves, Who they are to shoot our airplane? Iran will do? No way. The Iranian, because they understand that the Americans are a bunch of foolish especially those who they are in the White House, including Trump. They understand that they are not ready for war because they are not expecting the Iranian to do something. 
they shot the airplane and what the result Trump he did not do any action because he cannot he have no army anywhere you see all what they have in Iraq is little they have little here in Syria and actually those are a problem that are not even to help because now if they start the war in here with Iran the Shia in Iran the Iraq they will attack them they will attack those little pieces of America which is very few small tiny bases and even they might slaughter hundreds of American because they cannot fight you know you are little few hundred soldiers what you can do so those are now hostages actually unless Trump he moved them away and now last week after the attack Trump he start moving those out of Iraq and out of Syria which mean Trump is a preparing to attack Iran but because he knew his weakness he cannot start attacking and he have those few soldiers exist in Syria and exist in especially in Iraq in Syria you know they have uh, they have the Kurdish uh, huge uh, number so they can stand against any attack but a few soldiers in, in in Iraq they cannot fight hundreds of thousands of Shia militant and we are talking about literally about hundreds of thousands not few thousands so now the idiot Trump and the White House and the American they notice that they cannot respond to Iran as long they have uh, you know hostages in Iraq uh, when I say hostages not literally but it is as close to be hostages so now they start moving them out which mean the attack will happen in Iran as soon as they get rid of all those who they are in risk in Iraq or in Syria so when the attack will happen same time Trump because he wants himself to look like he's a good guy you know advisor they told him if you hit anyway that will make you lose they will attack us in, in Baghdad on uh, you know uh, in the embassy we don't have enough protection there and uh, will make you lose you know you might lose election so always Western leaders they favor election over countries and victories Don't you think somebody's asking? Let me see the, the comment. Don't you think that the United States did it in purpose for agenda? You don't think they are going to retaliate? Yeah, what I'm saying that Trump he did not respond to show the American. You see, I am not rushing to war. He will go they attack us. So now uh, Trump he made a big propaganda of himself as he is a peacemaker. They told me there is more than 150 people will be killed. This is why I did not. The fact this is an absolutely big fat lie. You know, this is another reason, have nothing to do with the reason, but they took advantage. Okay, we cannot retaliate anyway. So let us say we are peacemakers, and this will make the Trump, he's a president, who is trying his best to avoid war. Here we go. They hit us, I did not hit. So when he hit, nobody can blame him that he rushed into war because already. Look, they ran. They did many attack already. They burned two uh, uh, oil uh, 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 like carriers in the in the Gulf. Uh, they attacked the American drone. Uh, they shot already uh, many missiles at American bases in Iraq. So already they are attacking, you know. And Trump, he is trying to make himself. He's a peacemaker. He is not going to go to war. But the fact this is not the reason. They are not ready. You see, we are talking about the whole country is there. This is Iran. So Iranian, they do not need to mobilize an army. They are there. It's their land. While the American, they have nothing. They have a base in Qatar, but this is not enough to go in war with such a country, big country like Iran. So the Iranian are ready for war. The American are not. At the same time, the European, they don't want America to go in war. Because all what the European want is the oil. They don't care what happened in Iraq. And if the war is started, this place here will be closed. This area, at least for some time. Where most of the oil come from. All right. No, no, this is not will be war, war. No, this is the opposite, actually. No. Because you see, uh, many countries, actually, they will go against Iran. You see, all the friends of Iran, they will leave Iran. Let me tell you something about Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern, you are they are your friends, 
as long you are strong the second you have a stomach pain they let you have your diarrhea alone I hope I did not make it so ugly so the second Iran go in war nobody will say hello to Iran trust me in that especially they knew who is the one who is the one to going to win the Russian they don't care for actually in the Russian they want the war in here with Iran because this is for their benefit you know because then they will get rid of them of Syria and they will have the whole cake alone because now Iran is competing the Russian in Syria and Syria is a big cake for the Russian so the war in Iran is a big yummy for the Russian because the stupid Iranian government mullahs they have no other one to buy weapon from except the Russian and they will lose all their billions in the pocket of the Russian and then the American too they will make a lot of billions from the uh, uh, from the Arab who have to buy weapon now they are buying weapon and look how stupid the American again just two days ago they voted that we should not sell weapon to Saudi Arabia how you are going to go in war with Iran and then the one who will stand with you against Iran in the war you don't let him get the weapon <laughs> I mean stupidity is amazing they just voted two days ago two days ago that Emirat and Saudi Arabia should not get weapon okay now you will go in war with Iran who's going to fight Iran you need still you need those you need their land you need their country and giving them weapon you know you are going to use this weapon what about the let somebody else buy it and shoot it for you <laughs> you know what I mean I mean American are really dummy hilarious dummy so because of a human right in Saudi Arabia we will not sell them weapons since when so you sell weapon to Pakistan in Pakistan there is a human right hello in Qatar there's a human right in Jordan there's a human right who is the one who have a human right the Egyptian have a human right where the Egyptian I mean American are very silly people because Trump he want to sell the, the Democrat and even the Democrat the, like the uh, Republican which is they are not really Republican most of them they are really Democrat they oppose the president they are just trying to put rocks in the front of his way whatever he might do so now they forbid the Saudian to get American weapon okay so now you want to go in war with Iran and the Saudi obviously doesn't have enough weapon and the Emirati doesn't have enough weapon otherwise why are buying weapon the war will need a lot of weapon so now the Saudi and the Emirati they say okay well if we go in war how we will fight if the stupid American are not saying us weapon we will shoot what tomato so uh, uh, American they are they are people who live in different, different galaxy you know they, you know they don't really have understanding of the Middle East because it's still you, you 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 think as an American you know we are we are not the same we think differently we talk differently our culture is different and the religion is different there so the American they cannot and they will not understand the mentality of those nations and if you don't understand the mentality of your enemy that's mean you are stupid and you are a fool uh, now what will happen I believe that Trump is preparing himself to attack Iran because the attack will happen and the reason the attack will happen because Iranian they are out of food but to make it simple a Trump he is putting even more sanctions on Iran tomorrow already the country is a struggling big deal so Iran they notice that if we don't go in war with America then at least they will not go in war they try they will try to make a war to make them look good in front of their people but not uh, not a big war you know like now what they did like they shot the drone so in front of the people in Iran you know Allah Akbar see our country is stronger brother and even there's many Arab they are shouting and praising Iran for for what they did uh, and the American did not respond so that's mean the American are coward they are in our brave this is how they see it so the Iranian uh, uh, when you have people inside they are hungry the only way to silence them is war as an example I will take you to the different country Syria the president of Syria 
his father ruled before him I think 30 years something Syria is not a poor country by the way they have a lot of oil but the regime is corrupt all the money is in the pocket of the government leaders specifically the family of the president they are billionaires so okay why we don't have uh, jobs we are having war with Israel okay why we don't have electricity we are having war with Israel okay why the streets are bad we have war in Israel why things is uh, we have war in Israel like I mean come on but he don't ever have war with Israel when the last time you have war with Israel 1973 so they use an enemy to shut down anyone will complain about the situation and this is exactly what happened in Iran they need death to America so the regime of Iran can live if there's no America and there's no Israel okay what is the what is the agenda now what we will say to the Iranian death to who China you, you know what I mean so death to America is a solution is not really the is not the target it's just like for local consuming okay say that to America Allahu Akbar death to Israel and okay and then everybody okay go hungry home because as you see we are doing jihad for Allah come on we have to struggle and if you ask what is the name of the party or let us say the major party in Iran Hezbollah what Hezbollah mean anyone knows what Hezbollah mean you heard of Hezbollah in Lebanon right you heard of Hezbollah in Lebanon Hezbollah in Lebanon is the same as Hezbollah in Iraq is the same as Hezbollah in Iran okay what is that Hezbollah where the name is coming from that's from the Quran if we go in the Quran here we go it says chapter 5 verse 56 Hezbollah and then we find there is Hezbollah and there's Hezb shaitan the party of shaitan has mean in Arabic party chapter 58 verse number 19 you will see it says that those who uh, shaitan control them those are the hizb of shaitan so Quran teach that there's two hizb two parties there is Satan party and there's Allah party if you go down just three verse more you will see in chapter in the same chapter 58 verse number 22 where it says that those are the party of Allah see here the translation he used God party that's false it doesn't say that it says Hezbollah surely Hezbollah are the one who will win so the Iranian Shia they choose from the Quran a verse to call the name of their party Hezbollah which means they are the from the party of Allah and you are the party of shaitan so according to the Shia Mullah regime the war is not about oil is not about etc it's about Hezbollah the party of Allah and the party of shaitan let us change the translation Or mean I tra the translator see this is more accurate the, they are the party of Allah and the party of Allah are the one who will succeed all right and you whatever you are you are a Hindu you are a Buddha you are a Christian you are a Jew you are atheist it doesn't matter you are from the party of shaitan somebody saying uh, you are a good example to take hold on hold on uh, I want to show you what a Muslim he said I, I welcome Muslims by the way to make a comment feel free if you like to call me I will take your call too you are a great example something nothing I mean your name is that uh, this is not for me maybe I don't know he says and and so this guy is saying that those verses you are mentioning is not about all the kuffar this is about a certain time that's a big fat lie prove me wrong isn't it the Quran says you fight them enter the judgment day what's wrong with you 
I mean, look how the Muslims, you see, always when I, I speak to Muslims, I find that the Muslims' answers are naive answers. Either they are choose to be like they play dumb, like I do not know, like I'm, I'm silly and I know it. Or you know and you're lying. Which one is you? How many verses in the Quran I can show you right now that Allah, he says, you have to fight them until the judgment day? Why Muslims lie? <laughs> Remember, when you are talking about Islam, you are talking in the presence of a Christian prince. You can make those lies in the front of a naive American who have no idea what are you talking about. You talk to me. You talk to me. You have to watch carefully what do you say. Otherwise, people will make fun of you. All the Quran is speaking about fighting the kuffar and this is until the judgment day do you like to call me the guy who said uh, do you like to call me if you like just let me know you know i will open just the sky for you I don't know, like, you know, sometimes uh, you find uh, uh, you find the answers of those who have no answers is very naive. It's like somebody who just, you know, they are copy-paste. They are not even thinking. Somebody heard somebody saying, etc. you know. Yeah. So we, we take and, you know, and we say, we say whatever just to defend this plan. But you have to be careful. All this is over. Now, so the Quran speak about Hezbollah and speak about uh, Hezbo Shaitan, the party of Shaitan. In the same time, the Quran speak about we have to fight the Kuffar until the judgment day. And there is no exception, which means all the Kuffar is Kuffar. All the Kuffar are Kuffar and we have to fight them. Uh, if we ask uh, the Muslims how you want to fight America by Allahu Akbar, Hezbollah, and people who want to do suicide bombing, the mullahs of Iran they were chanting death to America, but don't we know that if America decide can destroy Iran in less than five seconds? Is that true? Few seconds. So this war is not really, uh, uh, is, is not for the best of uh, anyone from those who they are from the other side of America. So what this war is about? The Iranian, they bit in one thing that because you are coming from a civil nation you will not be savage with them which means they bit in your mercy to win the war you know what i mean to win the war they bit in your mercy that you will not be savage and you will not nuke us like now the Russian are fighting the terrorist in uh, in Syria but the Russian can destroy all this area in two in a second so what they bit in they bit in that not to be savage the Muslims they say to you death to you we want to kill you Allahu Akbar but in the same time in their heart they say thank God those are Christians they are not practicing the savagery of the Prophet Muhammad otherwise they will nuke us and they will finish us in two seconds do you understand what I'm saying do you understand the logic they knew they are no match they knew they are so weak Al-Qaeda they want to fight America but they knew that if the American they can whip all of, uh, of Afghanistan from the map 
as easy as making a phone call but because they knew they will not do that so they want to fight you and they keep fighting you so yesterday we spoke about being a savage winning a war is about being a savage not about being a human right fighter in the West they go to war but in the same time they want to play like uh, the three musketeer who have honor uh, this is right and this is wrong you know like now there's in jail in America there's soldiers who shot Al-Qaeda who was injured how you shoot somebody is injured you cannot if he's Al-Qaeda no you cannot shoot him so you send your babies to war and then you say to them don't kill the enemy <laughs> you know what I mean so this is why you cannot win a war like this war is a war war is about what it's not about a human right War is about winning and losing. So why you go to war just to give them a hug? So American soldiers, when they go in war, a soldier, he cannot just shoot. You shoot, they will take you to jail. The other side, he can shoot everybody. He can cut your head. He make a video of it. Allahu Akbar, you know, the victory. So they can do whatever they want and the other side can do nothing. And this is the weakness of America. And this is the weakness of the West. And Iran, the mullahs of Iran, they understand that very well. That those American, those Western are stupid. They want to fight us, but they cannot fight, but, but they cannot use their weapon. So how they can win? Are you getting my point? How you can win? They want to fight us, but they cannot use their weapon. Actually, if we make one of those liberals in the in the Congress now, uh, there is a woman. She uh, she is a Congress uh, woman, and she said we should start stop using uh, gas. We stop using airplanes, and uh, because the Earth is going to die in twelve years. So imagine now we want to fight Iran, and we cannot use gas. <laughs> we cannot use airplanes. <laughs> We cannot use the fuels for missiles. I mean, those people are perfect. Genius. I mean, we need those. We need those. Those are the genius of America. You know? I mean, how in the world those American even they elect such a woman? This is how naive the American is. American, they just put somebody in TV for them and make a party, support them, and then you they follow the party blindly. Whatever this part, like okay, I'm a Democrat, I'm Democrat. I vote Democrat always doesn't matter what they say, even all of even if they do 24 hours poo poo. So, uh, uh, everybody will love to see America without airplanes. China will be happy, very happy. I mean, <laughs> so I'm trying just to explain to you how they see us. Like maybe some of you are not American, but how those Muslims, they see us. In Iran, they see American are a bunch of fool. I'm just being honest with you. This is exactly how they see the American. They are just a bunch of fool. And all what they care about is winning election, not about winning the country. Right? This is the truth. And as long as you have people who they are mentality is about winning election, you will never win. And they will give you another example. Israel. The Israeli, uh, Obama, he, he left the sanctions with Iran. Obama, he should not do that. Okay, will Israel have an opportunity to destroy all the facilities of Iran for more than 30 years before Iran, Obama, Obama even was in high school? Why did not do it? The answer is very simple. They have the same entity in the West. They don't have leaders, they have politicians. Who want to win election so if we attack always the one if you make a war you will lose in the election generally speaking especially if the war is not uh, is going to bring problem but if you attack iran at that time you can destroy all their nuclear facilities and will take them 100 years to build it back but because they are coward who seek no no victory for their country they seek only election they attack hezbollah they attack Hamas. Before they finish the thing, 
people start protesting and the prime minister he withdraw because he fear now to, to, to lose the election so they are not really going to win a war that's why Hamas is growing because Israel is a fueling Hamas because when you attack and you don't finish the job you make it bigger the same they did in in, in, the, in Lebanon overnight Israel would draw from the south of Lebanon and then by doing that Hezbollah here and now is victory okay we kicked Israel but the fact they did not kick Israel the one who kicked Israel is the Jews themselves who decide to run away for election purpose just for election purpose so they made Hezbollah grow and make Hezbollah so powerful the same as what happened in Beirut when Hezbollah hit a center for the Marines and killed more than 200 Marines do you know what the coward American did they run and that make Hezbollah exist if the American they finish Hezbollah at that time they killed 200 of you and you do nothing and this is the president with the American they say he was one of the greatest his name is Ronald Reagan I don't know what is great about him so they are the one who make them grow Hezbollah at that time it was a small seed like 500 fighters how an army like America and go they kill 200 of you don't you go after the one who killed them no they 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 escape and they make Hezbollah became very popular actually the first suicide bombing was done by the Shia not by the Sunni and that was in Beirut No, it's your fight, my friend. It's your fight. You see, here we go. We just saw, saw an American, a person saying it is not our fight. Who said it's not? So why you are there now? Why you are back after forty years? It was your fight from the beginning. This is this is how the mentality. You see, this is not our fight. They killed two hundred of you. If this, if it is not your fight, after they killing two hundred of you, it's not your fight still. So what we they need to to kill like a, a two thousand? That will make it your fight or two millions. <laughs> so, you know, this is the mentality of the naive American. It's not our fight. No, it is your fight. Their constitution is death to America, death to Israel. It is your fight. This is what they shout every morning. Every morning. So, what do you mean it's not your fight? It's the fight of who? The Russian, they will defend you? This is the fight of who? Not our fight. Yeah, no, how I hate America. I am an American and I serve in the USA Army. I'm just speaking about the stupid politics of America and the stupid mentality of the American. You see, guys, when you say the truth, they say to you, you hate America. <laughs> I hate America. How I will hate America? But American, they cannot see somebody saying what is happening. If you say it, it's mean you hate America. You are the the one who made them grow. Your stupid American leaders make them grow. Reagan, even George Bush, George Bush, he gave Iraq as a gift for the Shia in Iran. The idiot George Bush. Iraq was controlled by the Sunni. He made a war and what happened he took the Sunni from Iraq and he gave them the Shia so now what we have look what we have in the map by the help of George Bush peace upon him we have this country is Shia this country is Shia huge country and now we have Iraq is Shia and now we have Syria controlled by Shia and now we have half of Lebanon controlled by Shia. So we Iran arrive here. You see the border of Iran right now? The real borders of Iran. This is the real border of Iran. They are in the borders of Israel. Do you understand me? 
because of the help of the stupid American. And now Hezbollah not only exists in Iran, exists all those places, all you can highlight all this area territory with red. All of this is Hezbollah. And not only that, I have a surprise for you. Because Obama, he gave Iran billions of dollars and he left the sanctions to, so he made the beast breathe finally. So Iran now have bases, huge ones in Yemen, thanks to Obama. Thanks to Prophet Obama, who the stupid liberals, they start saying he is the Messiah, cursing God. They are here, controlling this country, almost in full. Not only that, Hezbollah now, he have base in Niger, in Chad, in Sudan, in Nigeria, in Central Africa, in Cameroon, and in Kenya, and for sure, working in more. Thanks to America, because it's not our war. <laughs> So, you know, uh, <clears throat> there is someone he's saying, I want to cut your hand. Okay, cut my hand. Take care. Take my leg too. I will get one from eBay. Uh, what, what? Where else can you give a little help? So many. I don't understand you, my friend. Uh, King, I don't know what you mean. So, as you see, the American, by their stupid propaganda, uh, because they don't have politics, politics, they have propaganda. They have propaganda of the Republican, propaganda of the Democrat. And what happened in America, propaganda of Democrat take you uh, the left, 180 degree. And then the propaganda of the Republican come. And then America move 180 degree. And after eight years, what we will find? Zero. Let me make it simple for you. This is how politics work in USA. So now we have a president who is uh, supposedly a Republican, right? Okay. So this Republican, he is here, let us say, in the middle. This is when he, the, the first day he started his uh, his job. So now after he started his job in that day, he start walking right. So he go right and he walk, like I say, 4,000 miles. And then the Democrat, they won the election, let us say after eight years. And they will walk the same distance extreme to the left, which means nothing change. We are back to zero. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is why American they will never progress in any move as long they have two party system. While in Russia, they have one party. Since 20, 20 years, they are moving in one direction. So they passed, we are not in the zero, they passed the North Pole, they passed the past the South Pole, they are they are in the moon while the Americans still in zero. Stupidity. Welcome to America. And this is one of the weakness of what is called democracy. Democracy have a big weakness. All right? You don't trust Putin? I trust Putin, at least for his country. <laughs> I don't trust Americans to do good for their countries. Have you ever heard of a country? They don't want to have borders? Just to show you how silly Americans are. Who in the world don't want to have security in his borders? I mean, even donkeys, they have, they, 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 like, elephants, elephant, if you get too close to them, they defend. They will not let you go and, jo like, just get in. American, they don't want to have borders. I mean, they are mad. Which means, Al-Qaeda, they can just walk across the, the borders of Mexico and jump in your home. I will not, I'm actually surprised until now they did not attack us with dirty bombs or something, because here, Mexico is open. American are crazy. 
I never heard of a country don't want to have borders. So why you have okay? Why so okay? Just tell all, all Chinese, everybody come to America. Should they take the border, take the, the uh, keep the airport just for people to land in. The whole world will come to you. California is bankrupt because of immigrants. So we have a very silly mentality in America. You know, American they treat America as a hamburger, uh, McDonald restaurant. They kill the spirit of loving the country between the children. If somebody he wear a, a, a shirt that says "I love America," they kick him out from the school. If somebody have the flag of Iraq or Mexico, he's welcome. A country like this will never win a war with anyone, because you don't have people love your country no more. In all democratic society, uh, I mean, in the Democrat, uh, they teach you that only losers they join the army. So me, when I joined the USA Army, I'm a loser. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why, why my, my, why any kid when I join the army, if this is the mentality that only losers, and this is what Obama, by the way, Obama, who who became a president, he said, and you can go search it in you in, in YouTube, he said only losers join USA Army. So my friend, when we have the Russian, they are so proud about their nationalism, nationality, about their country. They are willing to die for it. You have people who teach their children that it's a shame to say I'm an American. It's disgusting. America is disgusting. You know what? If I am a president, anyone who will uh, burn the American flag, I will take in his citizenship. I will change the law. Anyone who don't like America, I will ship him free shipping and handily. I will pay for a ticket to send him whatever he wants. Strip him from citizenship. And you're not welcome. You hate America? Get out. You are born here, not born here. I don't care. Democrat, they always teach hate against their own country. America today is disgusting. We are building camps in the borders. Okay, take them to your homes. Who is going to pay for those? The whole world will come to America. You know what I mean? This is the mentality of the Western. And by the way, this is not only in America. As you see, people who they are in Germany, Europe, they are suffering from the same problem. Shish kebab mentality. They are hippies. Hippies, hippies, you know? Hippie without panty. There's no panty. The panty is gone. And this is why Iran, they are laughing at you. Okay, they hate you. You can do nothing because you have a hippie leaders. You yeah, have more the, the the majority in your Congress are are hippie. Your Congress now is busy uh, focusing in about making a bathroom mixed between female and male. I mean, look what we are talking about, and look what those people are busy about. Huh. Hippies, right? Faris is here. Faris yesterday he left a message for me. Do you know that Faris he left a message for me? Look what Faris he said to me yesterday. I hate you. Christian Prince. He wanna say I hate you. I hate you as much as I hate my life. I just wanted you to know that. <laughs> That's a perfect example of a real believer in Islam. Thank you, my friend. I don't hate you. I think you are leaving Islam. This is why you are so upset from me. All those who left Islam, they are so upset from me and they hate me in the beginning. And then they say, we love you, my friend. And thank you. Yeah, because he, you know, he come here, listen, and he cannot leave. Do you notice? They are, they are addicted to listen to me. They reject me. They are fighting me, but they cannot leave. They are glued in the floor because this guy is saying the truth. And they leave Islam sooner or later. That is the truth. He's not a kid. This guy is like uh, 40 years old. He's not a kid. He called himself Faris the kid, but he's not a kid. Don't think he's a kid. Anyway, so what will happen now with Iran? This is what I am guessing. Trump, he got his propaganda published that he is a person who is a peacemaker. He don't want to go in war. 
But the fact, because as we said, he is not ready. America don't have enough troops, don't have enough uh, 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 weapon uh, to be ready to launch a, a war, which even if it's you call it limited, but it might be not limited. So in order to get ready for such a thing, you have to be prepared. If you remember the war in Iraq, it took six months for American army to be deployed, and they sent 250,000 troops. America now, they will never do that again. They need to deploy weapon, high technology, all the way to Saudi Arabia, which is very strategic area and far away from Iran a little bit, which means, you see, because if you place your, your weapon so close to the enemy, that will make it risky because it's going to make it harder to shoot down their missiles. But if you place your weapon, let us say, an airport here, like as an example in Saudi Arabia, and I know Saudi Arabia very well, more than maybe more than America. Uh, uh, during the war with the Kuwait, uh, uh, they have a base in Arar, you know. Uh, they have a base uh, uh, in Riyadh. They have a base in Jeddah. They have a base uh, even in Jizan. So they put they put uh, uh, troops all over. So what the American now is doing, and this is what I believe, they are deploying troops, but secretly. And those troops are not to, uh, uh, ground troops as much as the, it is high tech uh, uh, troops. Let us say, uh, attack a drone, attack a drone. The one is armed, not like the one they shot down. Uh, airplanes, uh, 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 special kind of missiles, heavy duty. So the weapon is going to be used. Is not going to base on numbers is going to base to be based on technology but they cannot launch such a thing until they deploy everything and they have enough for what is can be unexpected which means big war so they might launch an attack and i believe maybe in a few weeks from now maximum trump he will do something and i think this is what will happen i said that last time the american when they are ready for war in that territory and now they are not they will send one of their toys, which is without uh, man in it, just a toy. And he will fly, and they will fly here, in purpose, getting close to the Iranian borders. And the Iranian, they will shoot it. It's going to be a trap. The second the Iranian, they shoot it this time, the American, they will shoot. So Trump, he will do the same exactly what the Iranian want. The Iranian want to show themselves that they are strong. Shoot another airplane and Trump do nothing. But this time Trump, he will do. And let us see if this will happen and if my uh, the way I analyze things uh, is correct. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think this is what will happen. Faris, he want to call me. Where is Faris? If Faris, you want to call me? Are you sure, Faris? Did you take permission from your parents, Faris? <laughs> okay, Faris, I will turn Sky for you. Oh, no. Yeah, you know, Muslims, they get so angry from me, for sure. I mean, look, I destroyed their cult in two seconds. And nobody can debate me and nobody can answer me. So what you why are you playing Faris? You know, I don't blame him. And last time he called me, he said, "I don't know, I don't know. I need to ask. I do not know. I I, I did not say I am a person of knowledge." <laughs> All right, here we go. Faris is trying to call me already. Actually, my Skype was not on Faris. Okay, let us see now. Let me be sure my mic is working in Skype. All right, here we go. All right, Faris, here we go. <laughs> Hello, Sipi. How are you doing? Yes, Faris. How are you? Doing great. You were discussing about this, some kind of political. Can I join with you about this one? Sure. But first, why you said to me yesterday, you hate me very much. Faris? Hello? What happened to Faris? Faris is using the internet of the neighbors as most of the Muslims.
<laughs> call me back Faris. call me and try not to switch the neighbor uh, try the other neighbor internet I mean why why this neighbor specifically is that like he is the most close to you or this is the only password you know <laughs> This connection loss. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a weak conne 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 connection. So, uh, uh, Faris, Faris, yes. before you go and yeah. join me, why you said that you said you yeah. hate me very much? Why you said that? Because what you're doing, really. What I'm doing? Like, tell me. What is the problem? What what I'm hmm? doing? Tell me. Now you're doing a lot of, I would say, bad things. I mean, like, insulting the Islam about bad okay, but wars, I, but I, bad Okay, things. did you find... You can prove Okay, hold on. Did I lie about anything I said, or I always I show the proofs and the reference in the screen? No, no, no. It's not about that. You see, whenever you like, you would like to prove Islam is wrong, I, I have no problem with that, really. As a matter of fact, I will be much more happy. But but you see, the problem is whenever you're doing that, you're doing some with bad words. That's why we Th cannot like stay what? and listen. Like what? Like what? I cannot say bad words really, but you're like saying what? Like about what? Islam, about, about, about God. You have to help me. Like, about... help me. like what's that? You say Muhammad is a liar? What is a liar? You see, I will leave those. You see, this liar, whatever you're saying, thief? like this, I thief? mean, thief? Uh, low. He's a thief. I cannot say. Anything. Okay, a rapist? No, 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 He's no. a rapist. So prove me wrong. So not, if you see, no, no, those are not bad words, my friend. Those are not bad words. If I say to you, if I say to you, you are a thief, no, sir. If I say this guy is a thief and he's a thief, I am not saying a bad word. I'm just describing who he is. You see, the thing is what I'm trying to say. Mm. You see, whatever you would like to prove Islam is wrong, I have no problem with that. But mm. however, mm. at least try to be more polite. I mean, I mean, okay. I have not okay. seen like uh, can I use the same word? Can I use the same Come word on. your prophet? Can I use the same uh, word your Come prophet? On. Can I use the same word your prophet he used to us? He says we are like donkeys. Where he said yeah, you are donkeys. If I show you, say that? if I yes, if I show you, if I show you, uh, you you will you will you will allow me to call your prophet donkey, or still you have a problem? I cannot say. I cannot. Allow <laughs> you see, Faris, you are being hypocrite. Yes, your prophet. He says that we are. We are. You know. Yeah, he said. He said that. Yes, he said that. Yes, he said that. Yes, he said that. Yes, he said that. And you speak Arabic. I do not even need to translate for you in English, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. It's in the front of you. Okay, here we go. Read, it for, read it for us. Yeah, wait there. Just a second. Mm. Let me just give me chief of seconds. Mm. No, 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 no. Mm. <coughs> where? Uh, yeah, yeah. مثل الذين حبلوا التوراة ثم لما يحملوها كمثل الحمار. You see, this is referring number one to the Jews, and it's not. Wait a minute. Hello. <laughs> So Wait, it's okay. You, okay, so so you are saying to me, be polite. So if you're a prophet, he says that to the Jews. That's mean it's, he did not say it to us. No, he says those who carry the Torah, we carry the Torah too. The Torah is our book. In case you do not know, this is how ignorant you are. So when your prophet says that the Jews and the Christians are a bunch of donkeys, and then if I say Muhammad is donkey, you get upset. So why he can call me donkey? I cannot call him a donkey. Wait, 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 you see, th this verse, this verse, you see, at that time, at that time, there were, I mean, at how would I say? At that time, at that time, at that time, okay, I'm calling your prophet at that time, because he's dead. Thank you. Hello? I mean, you know, Faris, uh, did you notice that Muslims, when they talk to me, that they, they are not smart? Have you ever asked a Muslim speaking to me and he wasn't smart? Be honest with me, including you. Look at you. you see, at that time, at that time. I okay, I'm say, calling your prophet at that time because he's dead now. So if somebody, finish, okay, finish, okay, how, 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 how they are the donkeys, but your, your prophet is the one who he thinks that the father of Mary is Umran. Who is the donkey here? Who is the donkey who he thinks that the father of Abraham is Azar? Who is the donkey who he thinks that Mary is the sister of Aaron? Who is the donkey who says that al uh, 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 like uh, uh, the, the Pharisee, and he was he met with Musa. Who is the donkey who think that Haman is the minister of the Pharaoh? Who is the donkey? I mean, this is the donkey. Who is the donkey who believe that the ant she was hurt by Suleiman and Suleiman have a flying carpet? And you are talking about donkeys. Do you really believe in flying carpet, uh, 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 Faris? About the flying carpet? Yeah. Do you do you believe in the flying the carpet? Huh? It's not a tire. Yeah, yeah, beside the tire, yeah, yeah, flying carpet. Yeah, do you believe in that? 
ما صراحه ما I have never heard about it. I will be honest with you. I'm asking. I have not. My wait, friend, wait, I'm wait. asking you honest question. Too. Perhaps, yeah. I, I appreciate your honesty. Yeah, okay. The answer what, is. What do you think? Okay, if somebody yeah, believes yeah. in flying carpet, is he a donkey? No, I will not say anything about. That. Wait what, a minute. So what yes, he is? What he is? Okay, hold on. Somebody believe in flying carpet. What he is? He's a donkey. He's a horse. He's a mule. He's a alligator. Give me a name. Uh, you see, there are miracles at that time. Ah, okay. There are this is a miracle, but this uh, this flying see, carpet can carry six hundred thousand chairs. Wait, wait, wait. You see, Christians. Mm. I mean, Chief is always controlling the conversation. And I mean, no one can debate you. I will be honest with you. Why? Why? Even Zakir. Why? Did I did I hang up on you? Did I did I mute you? No, I'm I'm asking you. You are not answering. No. I said you said to me yeah, it's a miracle. But, but, how how this is a miracle? Yeah. <laughs> how this is a miracle? Explain you to say, us. Once you finish, please give me the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. No problem. Go no ahead. problem. The thing is, let me tell you something. Mm. Did you finish? Yeah, okay, finish. I'm, I'm so going much. to get, yeah. take a nap. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Mm. You see, there are miracles happening at that time. Mm. Like you were about saying that about the flying carpet or whatever. Isn't that about Jesus? Like, you see, for someone, like I would say, the atheist, he will not believe neither in this, neither in that. But he, if he has, like, you know, trying to differentiate, like he will say, did someone raise people from the dead? He will say that is much, much more unbelievable. Did you get my point? Yeah, unbelievable. Like because see, many people they want to see by see, their see, eyes. No problem. But this is we see, are talking about. People, people but, that, but we are I, talking about stupid stories like flying carpet. What about what? What about the shaitan sleeping with uh, the wives of of Suleiman? What do you think about that? No, nothing, nothing on that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Always controlling the conversation. What? You see, I'm here. You see, it's, it's up to you. I have. I did not come here to debate at this moment. Really, mm. I have like three messages and one request. It's up to you if you would like to hear it or not. Mm. Hello? Faris? Can I, I, I just wait? Yeah, I, yeah, I, have, yeah. I just I just like I got a question. Okay. I got a question from an aunt. An aunt she is asking Faris as a Muslim. What do you feel about the story of Prophet Solomon? He heard the aunt talking to her friends. What is your feeling about that? This is an aunt she's asking. It's possible. I just I just found the aunt in, see, the, in, the, in the window in my window. Please. What do you what do you think about uh, this question? Do you have an answer for this end? How the Prophet Solomon yeah. he was able to hear the end mm -hmm. when the ants are deaf and mute? You see, it, there are uh, about the ant language. He just understood it, but he did not speak. No, with it the says ant. he heard he her speech. Oh, he, 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 says, he says he says he says he says he says that he heard her speech. He mm -hmm. was amused by her speech. Yes. Mm. So speech. Did she speak? Did she تتخاطر فيما بينها تتخاطر so he understood it. Wait, ta 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 ta. She said it says قالت قالت you speak Arabic you say Arabic you speak Arabic. She said قالت the the aunt she read it حتى إذا دخ أتوا إلى واد النمل قالت نملة يا أيها النمل قالت she said not that the cat the communicate it's she said it says yeah. and not only that he he, ahead, he ahead, look look do you see what the quran saying he laughed at, yeah, yeah, at her words do you see he yeah. laughed at her words he laughed no okay. you know you know faris i feel sorry for you read, yeah, yeah, yeah. read carefully with me it says so he did two things he smiled and he was laughing at the same time so don't let me teach me Arabic you do not speak Arabic now good here so how should a man how should a man he heard how should a man he heard the ant communicating as you said I'm not going to use the word of the Quran I will go with your word because you are you are making a new Quran okay how he heard the ant communicating but Suleiman, he is not an ant, and the only way for him to know what they are saying is to be an ant because they are not talking. Ants uh, they communicate by two see, ways. Ants they communicate by two ways, either chemical or vibration. And both is uh, coincidentally. Hmm? Tell me, yeah. Hmm? What? Okay. See, yeah, yeah. Once, once, whenever you finish, please tell me. I'm, I'm done. Okay, how how he was able to hear her speech if they are either yeah, yeah. using chemical to Again. communicate or to do vibration? Go ahead. 
So it's like so much. You see, I, I just would like to make one note, then I will, I will do my best. Mm. You see, I'm a Christian, do you hearing that? I mean, just for a message for the Christians. Mm. You see, this is not a debate. This is just questioning for us. Mm. I have no problem really with that, but just for the purpose of understanding to the Christians. He just, Christian parents, what he's doing, he just make himself in the position of asking position always. I mean, question after question after question after question. You see, I, and I have said to Mr. CP, it will be better for you, you see, even if you debated me, just an assumption, even if you debated me, you will prove nothing. Faris, like you see, there is... Faris, Faris, you you see, I give you the time years. to talk. I give you the yeah, time yeah. to talk. What, what you start doing, you start giving us a speech is about right or wrong. Where is the answer? How Suleiman was able to it's hear not, something cannot be heard. If this is not words, how the Quran say words, mm -hmm. How he can hear this, and, he, and by the way, you are the one who said you are the one who said that Allah he taught him the language. Hold, hold on, did Allah teach him the language of the birds? Yes or no? Okay, so Allah taught uh, Suleiman the language. Okay, he taught him the language of the birds. He understand the ants. What's wrong with your God? So I send you to school to learn the language of the birds, and then Suleiman turned that he understand the language of the ants. Explain to me how this happened. Also possible. Possible, it's possible at that. You see, miracle is something you cannot explain. No, no, no. But Allah, it, he I said explain. what he taught him. Allah, he said he taught him the language of the bird. He did not say I taught him the language okay. of the ants. So, okay, I send you to school to study Chinese, and then you sit with the German and you translate to me German. But you learn Chinese supposedly. So, how Allah he taught him the language of the birds, and then he understand the language of the ants. Possible, really. You see, the, uh, absolutely, uh, it's possible. Everything is possible in Islam. Is this is what we are talking about. Not understand only that. Only was having only one miracle. Okay, no, hold on. Show me where in the Quran here it says that Allah He taught him the language. Uh, as long Allah He ta He told us what He taught him. That's me. This is what He taught him. What He taught him. He taught him the language of the birds. Yes. Correct. Okay. So yes. is is the ants are birds? No, 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 they're not. They're not. Okay, so how Allah He taught him the language of the birds, and yet Suleiman he understand the, the language of the ants. Just only Suleiman was having only one one miracle, only one miracle. I don't care about how many. All of them they are funny and stupid. They name, name, okay, name, name one for name one for me. Name one for me is not funny. Name one for me of uh, miracle of Suleiman in the Quran is not funny and stupid. What about what about the hudhud, who is the minister of irrigation? And his job is to find women who have no hair in their legs. The same chapter, chapter twenty-seven, what, what, verse what? number twenty. Suleiman, okay, is it a true? Is it a true that Suleiman he have an army of a chicken? Not a chicken. The, the army, not a okay, chicken. army, army of what then? You see, army of what? Army of what? Army of what? Army of what? You tell me, okay. Uh, Suleiman, he have an army of what? Hold on, okay. Suleiman, army is contain what? I'm listening. I'm not. I will not read really. <laughs> what? All of my I'm asking you. Okay, oh, Suleiman ahead. army contain what? You see what? What contain? Is it true? It's contain see, genie, what? genie, and men and birds. You yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Is a chicken birds? Is a chicken consider birds? Yes, there okay. is. So, it so, is. so, man, he have a general chicken. No, in his army. General chicken. Yeah, a lieutenant, well, well, captain, major. It says uh, an army of an army of birds. Wait, wait. You see, he did not no, find one back, of these Go back, words. first. Go back. Go, to, go, go back to verse number seventeen first. It says that Allah He gave Suleiman an army. Which is contained of jinn and a human and birds, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. The birds of uh, who they are in the army of uh, Suleiman. Who are they? Give me the, uh, what what kind are they? Are, oh, are they ducks? By the way, uh, by the way, you, once you I was uh, uh, Faris, I will tell, kind of tell you a true story. Kind of, yes, once, yes. once I was attacked by a rooster. No, no, I, I don't care about your story, Christopher. No, no, this is, is, is Please respect my feeling. You are you are hurting my feeling now because this is my history. I, I have been attacked by by a rooster, an army of roosters. <laughs> what is that? What what you have there? You have roosters. Birds only, only. You see, birds are only just rooster or chickens only. only okay, you tell me. I'm asking you. See, you are the Muslim. I'm, you are the Muslim. I'm not. I'm asking you. The army of Suleiman contain what? You tell me. Say chicken, KFC. What what? Okay, what the I, army I, of Suleiman birds contain? I'm I'm listening. Go ahead. 
Perhaps you see any kind of tuyur jariha. You see, if he has an army, maybe he has like tuyur jariha. Tuyur jariha. Guys, tuyur jariha is saying like uh, like eagle and etc. This is false. Let me show you. Here we go. You are the one who start reading the hudhud. Is the hudhud from tuyur jariha? You see, you are, I said. Any any type of any birds? No, 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 no. You said, you said, uh, uh, you, you, no, no, here we go. Yes, let us yes. see, let us see a yes. high rank, a high rank officer in the what army of Suleiman and this mission in the Quran. Kind of bird? Hold on, here what we go. Kind of this is a high rank, this is a high rank <laughs> officer. So, uh, uh, yeah, listen. Is that he was a general? Is that because he is that because he have like those things in his head? So, uh, Muhammad well, made him general. Well, well, that's not a general. So what he is, what he is. He was a general. So why, why Suleiman? He, he check him by name. I mean, okay, there's uh, he have millions of birds. He said, uh, How he find uh, out he that has, uh, this bird is missing? This is general. Said, is because he's a Roman? Is that is that because he's a Roman? Do you see Christians? You always control the conversation. For sure, I control the control conversation control because always. I have knowledge. You don't. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you why this guy is missing and how Suleiman he is so interested in finding this guy. Who is this guy? Explain to us. Here we go. People are listening. Which guy? Which guy do you mean? The bird, the bird in the front of us on the screen. This guy. The army of Suleiman. The, 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 the army no. of Suleiman contain birds. Just okay. And the Quran mentioned one of the names of the birds which is in his army. Here we go in the front of you. I don't know. Just I cannot mute those two. Wait, just give me a few seconds. Hmm. هذا الهد هد اوكي هذا الهد هد شنو هذا؟ يعني بط هالبيضه بط هالبيضه شنو هالبيضه هذه؟ هذه بيضه بيضه الدجاج هذه اسمع لسن لسن سو وات از ذا جوب اوف ذيس بيرد ان ذا ارمي وات از ذا جوب اوف ذيس بيرد ان ذا ارمي اوف سليمان ام لسن والله ما اي شيء اي ويل بي اونست ويز يو اي دونت نو وات از اكزاكتلي بيكوز what do you mean you don't know this guy this guy is a big general what's wrong with you don't you see the ranks in his head who told you who told you the big general well so how how a king he check a person who is i mean he have millions of birds why only this one he is a problem for him who really knows what that what uh, what Suleiman, peace be upon him he thought about that but he said why i have not seen this bird you yeah, why? why? I mean, okay. Have, how many birds do you have? Ten chickens. Okay, hold on. Okay, the army of Suleiman, which is army of birds. How many birds there is? There is. How the number you mean? Yeah. How many birds he have in his army? Millions, which must be. Oh, it's an army. No. So how a, a king, how a king he was able to notice that Mr. Abdul Bird is missing. What happened? You see, let me, let me tell you something about the prophet. Uh, Faris, they have Faris, something. Uh, excuse me. I saw, I saw, uh, I saw, I saw, I saw two Muslim birds having yeah. nik having nikah. I don't know if you see this. They are having nikah in the picture. Two two Muslim birds. The hudhud. This is his. I think this is his wife. By the way, this is halal. You see, Christian. He's doing mutar. You see that. Mm. Pathetic, really, Christopher. What pathetic. I mean, okay, the, isn't it your prophet? He says that you know, uh, Allah, he made it from uh, the nation like you, and etc. They are Muslims. Once, huh? once you're done, please tell me. You see, okay, I'm here. You see, it's up to you, really, whether you want to accept or uh, not. Brother, listen, see, listen, I, I okay, 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 hold on, Faris. Look, home. okay, I have a proof now wait, that wait, the hood is a Muslim, he is killing a lizard in front of yes, us. Is it true that the prophet he ordered wait, to kill lizard? Is it true? Is it true that the prophet he ordered to kill lizard? Yes or no? Yes, yes. I'll, okay. I'll, uh, and now, you, do you see this that? guy? Yes, do you see that? this guy? Here we go. This is the proof that this is a person who believes in Allah and he's a prophet. He is killing a lizard. Isn't it? This is a wait, miracle, wait, Just a second. I will call you back. I will not run. I will call you back. Someone is ringing my, you know. Who is someone? My home. The bird? Just the bird in your door? Me. You have a messenger uh, from Suleiman coming? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. So okay, Suleiman, a messenger is coming wait, to wait, his I'll, door. All right. Yeah, don't do like the Muslim who says to me, I will go to the bathroom five minutes, and since 20 years ago, he don't come back. I hope you will call back. Okay. Huh? All right. <laughs> it's always funny to talk to, to Muhammadan. I mean, they are desperately trying to defend their cult, but it's a stupid cult. I mean, what you can do with this is army of birds, and Allah, he taught him the language of the birds, but yet he understand the ants. And he heard the speech, he laughed at the speech of the ant, but then don't talk, they are mute. They are deaf. I mean, how silly it is. Hmm? <sighs> <laughs> it's
it's a good entertainment, isn't it? <laughs> oh boy. And I'm sure you will believe in Islam right now. I mean, this is look at this. And by the way, the Prophet of Allah, he says, the one who killed a lizard, Allah will give him an extra reward. Mm. Eh? Why? Anyone knows why the lizard is an enemy to Allah too? Eh, this guy, he says, we have we have a scale to judge what hadith is da'if and what hadith is strong. My friend. The Da'if hadith is still accepted. This is why it's called Da'if. <clears throat> this is showing me your ignorance. Da'if hadith is not rejected. This is why it's called Da'if. The reason it's called Da'if, it's mean it's accepted. Otherwise, it's going to be called rejected, not Da'if. So Muslim, when they try to defend the stupidity of their cult, they come with a very, uh, there is a sheikh, his name Sheikh Hamza, he said, the argument of weak hadith is a weak argument. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Even your sheikh is making fun of you. Because today, anyone you speak to him, he says to you, weak hadith, weak hadith. Anything, even, even the one is not weak, weak hadith. The Quran is weak hadith. What weak hadith? We are showing you Quran. Same time, who said to you that weak hadith is not accepted? Search right now. Search in your Google, YouTube. Sheikh Hamza, weak hadith is a weak argument. Let him spank you. You shake. You know, weak hadith is accepted. That's mean it have a rank. I am the ignorant. It is you who is the ignorant. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm not going to play the video, but I will search for it and I will post it for you. You watch it and you laugh at yourself. This is your sheikh teaching in the TV and teaching in the mosque. That weak hadith is accepted. Did not flunk. flunk. <laughs> uh, poor, poor nation. Okay. Hey brother, this is your sheikh, brother, is teaching you about weak hadith. Do you see it, brother? If I play it for you, they will say this is a uh, copyright, brother. So I'm not going to play it, but I will post it for you. All right. Now go and see how your shaky laugh at you when you say this is a weak hadith. He say weak hadith did not flunk. It's accepted. It is accepted. It pass. I'm just quoting him. It pass. So stop the game of weak hadith. You see, Islam is weak. And by the way, by saying weak hadith, you destroy Islam. Do you know why? Do you know why? If Islam is based on the Hadith and in the Quran, and now Muslims are confused about what is a trustworthy and what is not, and everyone have his own opinion. As an example, a Sheikh Al Alabani he say this is Sahih. The other Sheikh he say no, this is not Sahih. So Muslims are so confused about what is Sahih, what is not Sahih. So how we can follow Islam? Islam is not, you know, Islam is not exist because how Islam can be exist if the Quran is not enough. And just to show you how funny Islam is, is it your prophet? He says, don't write hadith. Just to show you how funny the Muslims are. Your prophet, he order you not to collect hadith. <laughs> I mean, this is the best comedy ever. Guys, read carefully. The prophet said, don't take down anything from me. And he who took it down anything from me except the Quran, he should efface it, erase it. Okay. Look how stupid this cult is. He just said to you, don't write that. You wrote it there. He just said to you, don't write what I say. And then you say, the prophet said, don't write what I say. I mean, how stupid this cult is. And this is Sahih. Do you see it? So according to your prophet, hadith should not be exist, should not be written. So how Islam can be practiced? And now we have Muslims say to us that hadith is weak and daif and shish kebab, hummus. 
falafel. What, what, a, what a stupid cult. And then they say to us, the word of Allah is protected. If Islam is not based on the word of Allah, so where is the protection? And even the goat ate the Quran. By the way, this goat until now is missing. I posted a, a picture of the goat in Facebook and somebody contacted me. He said he found the goat. He wants his reward. Uh, I was joking, guys. I, I don't mean it. I mean, this guy, he found a goat. Looked like the same goat as the one I posted the picture for her. And now he is saying, I want uh, the, the reward. I was joking. Hello? Man, what's wrong with you? The goat we are talking about is exist in the time of the prophet. And by the way, this is a holy goat. Uh, Faris, what happened to you, Faris? As I was as, as uh, ex expecting, a guy, a sheikh, was debating me many years ago. He said to me, "You want to go to the bathroom for five minutes?" Since then, he did not get out of the bathroom. I'm just uh, somebody in the door. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we are not, we are not going to keep it longer. I hope you guys you have a good time. You can download the video. I'm not going to keep it there for long. I want to say thank you for all those who support us by downloading or by donating or by whatever you do. I really appreciate you all. And uh, final statement about what will happen between USA and Iran. I believe USA is going to hit Iran, but they are preparing for it. So depending on how fast they prepare, they are uh, they are taken into surprise. Uh, Trump, he was not expecting the Iranian to dare to shoot down an airplane uh, for USA. And this is why he hesitated to take any action uh, against Iran because simply USA is not ready to attack. The Iranian, they do not need to deploy army. They are there. This is their land. So they have hundreds of thousands of fighters in the ground. So in order for you to fight such a huge country, you have to prepare for what to come. Hold on, we have Abdul. We have a fish. <laughs> yes, yes, Abdul, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Uh, yes, hold on, you said, to me, you said to me, stop lying, why? Yes, because because you're lying. You're about lying what? About the, what? on the Middle East issue, man. Why? You're straight up. Why? No, brother. Like, like what? America are big terrorists. They're, you say, you say those Al Qaeda. These are the no. They, they, they are respond to America attacking them. I, uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Al Qaeda is sponsored by America. I agree with you. But is Al Qaeda when they shout, they shout the Quran or they shout the Constitution of Allah? They take the Quran as moral. Okay, but thing. The, but does the Quran? Like but does the Quran? Okay, the okay. Show me different. one thing. Okay, show me one thing. Al Qaeda did is against us now. Or ISIS. One thing. Yeah, okay. one, just one. Allah said you are not allowed to destroy trees, attack, uh, hurt women. Okay, hold on. And, one, uh, one, by one, one by one, one by one, one by one, one by one. Allah, He said, don't destroy trees. Where He said that? No, it was uh, Prophet Muhammad Hadith by Allah. Mm -hmm. So during war. Okay, read this Hadith allowed... with me. Read this Hadith with me. Give us... hmm. Yes. Why you are lying to me? Because I am young. Because I'm. <laughs> Why you are lying to me? Huh? No, no, I'm not gonna give you candy, man. So I'm apologize, candy. apologize for being a liar. You call me a liar. You are the liar. You said the prophet did not allow. Let's Why see. you are Let's lying? See. Why you are lying to me? Let's see. Hmm. No, because you are. Because that's not true. Not true. Okay, here we go. This is Sahih al Bukhari. They are killing Muslims too, man. Uh -huh, okay, uh, and your prophet he killed Muslims too. Your prophet in the Quran says kill Muslims too. I will show you. <laughs> Apologize for lying about the trees and etc. Let me first see this. Le, 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 well, this is hard to see it. <laughs> no, no, no. Look, the prophet burnt the date palm trees of Benny and another. As I be said, the following poetic verse about this event, the terrible burning of Abu has been received that by the nobles of Luai. 
Dimash Nobus of the Qur'an is Abu Sufyan bin al-Hadid, i.e. the Prophet's cousin who was still a disbeliever then. But to Hassan saying the poetic verses, uh, may Allah bless it burning. Mm. I said, all oh, it's I in a spot on the burning fire, you will see it was far. Mm. So you see how big the fire is? Why you lie to us and say the prophet says don't burn trees? Why Muslim they lie always? Is, they is, make it because, is it Sahih? No, this is not Sahih. Here we go. See the game? Sahih. Yes, this is Sahih. You want to spank yourself? It's it is Sahih, yeah. It's a Bukhari. Do you want to spank yourself for lying? Because I can't spank you from here. Is it is Sahih. It is Sahih. It's sahih. Are we going to repeat this forever? It is Sahih. It is Sahih. Here, Bukhari. I, I want you to spank yourself, and I want to hear it because I can't spank you from here. Spank yourself. I want to hear it. <laughs> no, no, no. Would you have to spank yourself? You said I am a liar, and I got you busted, and everybody is laughing at you, and your prophet was burning trees, I... and he's proud about it. So why you are lying to us? To spank yourself. Life on it. When did I say? When did I say that you're a liar? Look, you're lying. Again you said now. you are lying about the Middle East, you know, the America based terrorists, yeah, and, the Al -Qaeda. and then I said to you, okay, Al Qaeda are doing what Allah the Prophet said or not? You said to me, no, I got you busted. You said you to me right away. You said to me, the Prophet says, don't uh, kill uh, 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 the trees, even trees, and you are going to say women. I can show you killing women and babies and children. Did your Prophet? Did your Prophet says you can kill children? Uh, no, 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 of course not. Children's not. What about what, are you sure? Look, um, children, they haven't um, <clears throat> seen do anything yet, right? Really, they don't know okay. about the events. If, so I, that's if, why, if uh, I if I show you the reference, are you willing to spam your spank yourself aloud and everybody will hear wait, it? But, unless if, but unless of those children have swords or weapons, ah, they, uh, unless they, they are children who sword would weapon, ah, he just said something. No, they are, they do not have sword. I will show you, I will show you stories about children who have no swords, and your prophet says it's okay to kill them. What you would do? Show me, man. I'm asking you, are you willing to spank yourself? No, I'm not going to spank myself. Why? Well, you so, spank okay, how I can so spank you? How, how I can, okay, how I can spank you now? <laughs> Mama, you, you need to spank yourself. Okay, right? read the story here. You, you get things. Okay, did he kill a boy? This is, says, your, um, this is your Quran. Well, uh, this is your Quran. Wait, I, Allah is teaching a prophet, Musa, that killing boys is good. Read it. This is Quran. Are you going to say to me this is weak, <laughs> this is weak Quran? Hmm. Okay. Then they proceeded hmm. till they met a boy. He, Khidr, killed hmm. him. Hmm. Musa, Moses said, Have you killed an innocent person? What killed none? Verily, you have committed a thing, Nukra, a great munka prohibited evil, dreadful mm. thing. Mm. So, yes, mm. so it says, Have you killed a boy that's not allowed? Mm. Why did you kill him? Mm. And Qadr, mm. you know, he, he performed a sin. I mean, ah, uh, he performed a sin. Okay, example. now, now you, you deserve double spanking because the one is talking is Allah. How Musa's were ignorant and he sent Musa to learn from Al Khadr, you idiot. So here you will see Al Khadr is teaching Musa why he killed him. Read according to Allah, because Allah huh? told him. I, I didn't get. <clears throat> let me see. Let me see. Wait, who's Khadr? Who's he? He's a person, right? Al Khadr is a prophet. He is teaching even Musa. He's higher than Musa. Allah He sent Musa to learn from Al Khadr. The Khadr is the one who owned a whale, and he owned the fountain of of youth. You know the fountain of youth. The water, if you drink uh, from, you live forever. This is why he's called Al Khadr. Do you know what Al Khadr mean? Al Khadr who lives forever. What what Al Khadr mean? Uh, someone who lives forever. Uh, so how he live forever? By his spirit, not his soul. Uh, not his. Why no, he's God? Spirit. He's God. No, no, no. But our okay, how he live forever? I'm asking you, how he will live forever. Is it true that Muslim you say that Al Khadr he was in the funeral of Noah and he was in the funeral of uh, 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 of Moses and he was in the funeral of, Noah, uh, funeral of Aaron and he was in the funeral of the Prophet Muhammad? Okay, why this guy he live forever? Do you know? Oh, he will live until the judgment, judgment day. Why he live? Why he is so? He's, he's not dying. Why? Is that because he drink from the fountain of youth? 
What you mean by fountain of youth? Okay, we will, we will go back to the different uh, data. So now this guy he killed the boy, and Allah inspired him to kill the boy. Why? And as for the boy, his parents were disbelievers, and we feared lest he should oppress them by rebellion and disbelief. Hmm. So this is referring also to the story in the Injil, the previous book of Allah. What, what, uh, what, uh, what, 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 what Injil? What Injil? We don't have. What, what was Al Khadr in Injil? In Injil, we have a guy. His name is Al Khadr. I'll explain to you. Oh. I'll explain to you. Ah, okay. In the in the previous book of Allah, mm. uh, Moses ordered the killing of uh, any man or boy mm. when he attacked. No, the this boys. is not okay. Okay, so now, so now you agree Don't that Islam. Okay, so do you agree in Islam you can kill boys? Yes or no? The ones uh, who would probably. Uh, oh, oh, it says here a boy. This is even a boy of a Muslim family. What's wrong with you? Yeah, but boy, he might be, he might be eighteen years old or something, man. It's a boy. No, no, How a boy? He is a, a, a eighteen years old. He will be a man. It says, it says a boy. And it says he did not kill anyone. Even Moses, he said he commit no sin. Why you killed him? Yes, but if a boy, yeah, has a sword, yeah, ah, twelve. It says sword. he killed nobody. He's a Muslim. He is a Muslim from no, son of a Muslim family. His 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 family are believers, and he was playing with his friends. <laughs> uh, okay listen I, i'm gonna ask you how it's okay how to kill this boy how how what is the islamic way to kill a boy like this it is a halal way it is a kosher way um animals we uh hmm. cut the throat hmm. let, me you, the, let me show you how let me show you how your prophet of... let me show you how your okay. prophet cut, cut, you know how he killed the boy read with me carefully so after they left the ship taking their way in the foot until they met a boy who had not yet reached the property plane with other boys you say to me sword you lying to us shame on you among whom his face was fairest he don't like his face and al khadr slew him by slitting his throat with a knife while he lay down and by tearing his head off with his hand or by smashing his head <coughs> against the wall are you there yes so what you are saying to me lying to us you say isis is not islam and qaeda is not islam i want hello? you i want you to spank now you don't hear me now hello I want you to spank yourself a three hello? time and I want to hear it. Don't tell me you are not hearing me. You hear me. Hello? Hello? Here we go. He played deaf now. No, no. My uh, internet connection was mm, bad. Okay. Wait, so uh, are, are you going to hello. spank your stuff? Hello? Yeah, my... Just get lost. We give you live spank as always. I mean... If you if you check the, the the bombs of those Abdul who call me, you will find my fingerprint in every one of them over his ass. And I bought a special detergent to wash. Unbelievable! All of you, you have my fingerprints on you. You wanna call? You wanna talk to Christian Prince? Are you serious? You are expecting really to call a Christian Prince, and you will like he will not he will not get you busted. I mean, I don't even dare to debate myself. I will lose. That's why I took the mirror from my house off. I get scared. I get scared for two reasons. The way I look like and talking to myself. I would be like Muhammad talking to himself. <laughs> anyway, guys. Uh, so let us finish this topic about the war. In the, and I believe that Trump is going to hit Iran. He is just waiting for, I think, three things. Deploying enough weapon and military personnel to launch such a war which can be uh, bigger than what he thought so he have to get ready so it might take some time secondly he want to give the european enough time to take enough oil and a store because when the attack start this territory here will be blocked so he is giving a chance to the european okay we'll get the oil you need which will be enough for a few months and get out of there and then USA is going to attack 
and they are going to teach the mullahs of Iran how to behave so I want to say thank you guys for being here I hope you enjoy listening to us you can download my video right after we finish it take maybe 20 minutes to 30 minutes to be ready download it share it because I don't keep videos on my channel as you know uh, and uh, I wish you a great Sunday God is good and we are always victorious and we are grateful for the Lord that he gave us intelligence so we can be wise the Bible says my nation destroyed because of their ignorance ignorance is the biggest problem and we are here to fight ignorance we are not here to fight Muslims by the way I don't hate no one I am here to fight ignorance people they die because of ignorance. people they go to war because of ignorance people worship some gods because of ignorance people they destroy their life because of ignorance ignorance is our enemy and we as a human mankind from all religions in the world we should fight ignorance it's very important ignorance should die not a human right somebody wanna call me who was calling ah, faris is calling no later faris that's it i'm done for today thank you <laughs> now, you see faris now he heard me saying goodbye uh, bye bye and now he called me yeah all right i know the game Hey, thank you very much. Try something better. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And God bless you. Bye-bye.